Welcome to our video on the fascinating world of Japanese ghosts and folklore. Today, we'll explore some of the most intriguing and iconic supernatural entities from Japanese culture that have captivated audiences worldwide. Join us as we uncover the top Japanese ghosts that have haunted the imagination of countless generations. From the sorrowful Yurii, spectral beings bound to the earthly realm by intense emotions, to other captivating spirits, each ghostly figure we explore is steeped in tales of vengeance, yearning, and profound sorrow. Draped in ethereal white funeral attire and with wild, unkempt hair, these apparitions embody a blend of dread and intrigue. Let's dive into some of the most frequently recurring entities in Japanese folklore and entertainment. These characters have not only shaped Japanese culture but have also fascinated and frightened audiences around the globe. We'll explore their origins, the stories that keep them alive, and their impact on modern media and popular culture. So, get ready to journey into the eerie and enchanting world of Japanese ghosts. At first we have Yurii, much like humans, are creatures of profound emotion and lingering desires. Imagine them as souls tethered to the mortal realm by the weight of their unfulfilled yearnings, much like how we might feel tied to certain memories or ambitions. Their ethereal forms, draped in white funeral attire, reflect the intensity of their emotions and the purity of their intentions, even if those intentions are shrouded in sorrow or vengeance. These spectral beings, with their wild and unkempt hair, could be seen as echoes of the turmoil they experienced in life a visual manifestation of their inner turmoil. Just as humans might struggle with inner conflicts or unresolved issues, Yurii wander the earthly plane seeking closure and redemption. In their haunting presence, there's a poignant reminder of the fragility of life and the power of emotions to transcend even death itself. They captivate observers not just with fear, but also with a sense of empathy and understanding, for they are beings driven by emotions that are all too familiar to us. Now we have some notable haunted locations in Japan. Himeji Castle, located in Himeji, Hyogo Prefecture, Japan, is famed for its beauty and haunted lore. The ghostly tale involves Okiku, a servant unjustly accused of stealing valuable plates. Thrown into a well by her master, she died tragically. Legend says her spirit haunts the castle, emerging nightly to count the plates from one to nine before wailing in despair over the missing tenth plate. Her cries echo near the well, now known as Okiku's Well, adding an eerie layer to the historic site. Inanaki Village is an urban legend in Japan, shrouded in mystery and fear. Said to be a remote, cursed village in Fukuoka Prefecture, it's reportedly disconnected from the rest of the country. Legend has it that a sign at the entrance warns outsiders that Japanese laws do not apply here. The village is believed to be haunted by vengeful spirits of those who died tragic deaths, with tales of murder, madness, and supernatural occurrences. The chilling lore captivates thrill-seekers and paranormal enthusiasts, though its actual existence remains unverified. Oiren Bachi, also known as the Courtesan's Abyss, is a haunting locale in Japan's Yamanashi Prefecture. Legends speak of a bridge where courtesans were thrown to their deaths during the Edo period. It's said that the spirits of these tragic women still linger, haunting the area. Oiren Bachi's eerie atmosphere and tragic history make it a chilling destination, attracting those interested in the paranormal and Japanese folklore alike. A Akigahara Forest, also known as the Suicide Forest, is located at the base of Mount Fuji. This dense, eerie forest is infamous for its association with suicides, with numerous individuals taking their lives there each year. It is believed to be haunted by the spirits of those who died there, adding to its haunting reputation. The forest's unsettling silence and labyrinthine paths further contribute to its eerie atmosphere making it a chilling destination for those fascinated by the paranormal. Bakemono, the shape-changing demons. Another fascinating entity in Japanese folklore is the Bakemono. These are shape-shifting demons known for their ability to transform into various animals, particularly cats. The term Bakemono translates to changing thing, similar to the word beast, and aptly describes their unpredictable and often destructive nature. 
Baikmano are known for their cunning and mischievous behavior. They can disguise themselves as ordinary creatures or even humans to deceive and cause harm to unsuspecting victims. Stories of Baikmano highlight their malevolent tricks, from causing chaos in households to leading travelers astray in the wilderness. One of the most famous Baikmano is the Bakaniko, a cat that transforms into a monstrous creature after living for many years. Bakaniko are said to possess supernatural abilities, such as walking on two legs, speaking human languages, and even resurrecting the dead. These feline demons are both feared and revered in Japanese culture, often appearing in folklore as ominous figures that can bring either fortune or disaster. Next we have some of the landmarks in Japan haunted by Bakaniko. In the Bunka period, 1804-1818, an essay called Kitten Hakaku Junjoki describes strange events involving cats. One tale from the Hakariku region tells of a mountain witch, or Yasaburo Baba, where a cat killed and ate an old woman, took her place, but later had a change of heart and became worshipped as the deity Myodoraten. Similar stories can be found throughout Hokkaido and the Northern O region, showcasing a rich tapestry of folklore across Japan. It is said that in a soy sauce shop long ago, in Tatsukajuku of the 53 stations of the Takedo, now Tatsukaku, Yokohama, Kanagawa Prefecture, it sometimes happened that napkins would disappear in the night one by one. One night, when the proprietor of the soy sauce shop went out on a job, he heard some bustling music from a place where there should have been no people around. When he looked, there were several cats gathered, and there in the center was a strange sight, the shopkeeper's pet cat, wearing a napkin on its head and dancing. That explained why his napkins had been going missing. The place where this cat is said to have danced is called Odoriba meaning, dancing place, and it left behind its name afterwards in places like the Odoriba intersection, as well as the Odoriba station in the Yokohama Municipal Subway. In 1737, at the Odoriba intersection, a memorial tower was built in order to pacify the spirit of the cat, and the Odoriba station was decorated all over with the motif of a cat. This landmark derives from the following legend, in the early part of the Edo period, the village headman of Kamo village, now Kamo town, borrowed money from a wealthy man to save the village when their crops failed. Although he repaid the debt, the wealthy man plotted against him and falsely accused him of not paying. In despair, the village headman died of an illness. The land, which had been collateral for the debt, was then confiscated by the wealthy man. When the village headman's wife, Omatsu, attempted to complain to the Bugio magistrate's office, the Bugio gave an unfair judgment because the wealthy person bribed him. When Omatsu tried to complain directly to the daimyo, she failed again and was executed. The calico cat that Omatsu had raised became a bakaniko and caused the ruin of the wealthy person and the bugio's families. At Omatsu Daigongen lies the grave of Omatsu, where the loyal wife who put her life on the line for justice is deified. The calico cat that destroyed Omatsu's foes is also deified, as the Nikotsuka cat mound, and on the grounds, there is a kamenu guardian statue of a cat, which is very unusual. Because the legend says that the cat sought revenge for an unfair judgment, it is supposed to grant favors in matters of competition or chance. During testing season, many test takers pray for success in school here. Thank you for joining us on this eerie journey through the fascinating world of Japanese ghosts and folklore. We hope you enjoyed exploring the stories and legends of these captivating supernatural entities. This is just part one of our series, so stay tuned for more spine-chilling tales in the upcoming episodes. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content. We'd love to hear your thoughts and any ghostly legends you'd like us to cover in future videos, so please leave a comment below. Until next time, remember to keep the lights on and beware of things that go bump in the night. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.